Yo, what's up, everybody? Keep them almost in full color. And today we're talking about Cyberpunk 2077. I know I sound tired, but that's because I've been just playing nonstop. I just been going and going and going, and I wanted to come do this review right now. That being said, we start with the visuals, like I always do. Visually, the game looks great. I don't think we can really take anything from the game itself in, in the way that it looks. To be honest, I really feel like this is a hint at what's to come for the next gen and this makes me so excited like i think we're, we we're about to hit like the golden age of gaming right now but that's just that that's for another time i want to talk about how cyberpunk and the people at cd project red they really allowed this game to be dictated by the player they really put a lot of a lot of control in the player hands and allowed you to really drive this car just take it and smash the gas from the beginning when you get to choose your life path to after that kind of choosing what your character is going to look like after that i mean you have these skill trees which are nuts for those who are just listening check it out you got like these we'll call them nodes right and these nodes are represented by intellect body technical ability cool points <laughs> if you're looking at all of these you can spend skill points on these on their base form right but then if you actually click on these skills like these these nodes it opens up a whole another set of skills that you can unlock and then there's a tab like a flip side to that so like you have your quick hacking tree you have your uh annihilation tree then you have a blades tree. Then you have so many different skill trees. You have your stealth tree. Just so many different skill trees to work with. And it it's very overwhelming, I think, at first when you when you turn on and you're looking at it, you're like, oh god, like how am I gonna get all these skill points? What what am I gonna do? But over time you'll you'll start to understand uh it's less about the skill trees and more about you. Which skill tree do you want to really spec into like what type of gameplay do you think you you really want to have at? And therein lies the beauty of everything. If if you're like, man, I want to give me a fly ass katana, so I need to go into the blade skill tree and really try to make my katana like that shit. If everyone else is gonna be having guns and I'm running around with a sword, I, I need my sword to be like OP when when I do land a strike or two strikes. Perfectly viable to do. That is actually my build right now. <laughs> my katana is nuts but that's what you're looking at and it's funny because for a moment you're looking at this skill tree and you're like god i need to get skill points i need to do these side quests i need to do these things and at a certain point like the skills stop becoming what you're worried about and then all of a sudden you get lost in these side quests because they're damn good and they're i mean most of them most of them are pretty good there are a few that are like eh, but most of the side quests are very good and you're like wow like these side quests have me intrigued i'm invested like let's go for those people who are really into the cyberpunk lore my people who are in the cyberpunk 2013 2020 i really think that you all will get down with some of these side quests i'm not trying to spoil a whole lot but i think you guys will really get down with the side quests this game is lore heavy so for those who are familiar with the lore i think that you're really gonna be uh pleasantly surprised with some of the things in cyberpunk 2077 that's it i mean that that's as far as i'm gonna go that's as far as i'm gonna go the gameplay is smooth though just everything the map is overwhelming <laughs> if you look at the map it's just like oh god my one knock about the map and gameplay that fast travel was really weird like i think i got like roughly 30 hours into the game before i even realized that fast travel was a thing and it's like these little weird kiosks and you have to like go to them to initiate fast travel so that was the one thing like i was like eh, i really ain't feeling it but you know the funny thing was i had played the game for you know 30 hours and that did not really in the grand like when i look back on it i was like huh okay whatever i really like the soundtrack and the radio that that's on the game so i mean i was able to just hop in the whip and go now, I've been playing Assassin's Creed, so the other thing that I was kind of like, ah, eh, about was I was hoping there's like an auto drive feature that like that exists in Assassin's Creed and Watch Dogs, but that's just me being lazy. <laughs> Overall, I love Night City. I thought it was really nice. It was this really breathing environment. There are some games that do their open world so good, and this is one of those just really good examples, man. It's, it's hood in certain places, it's bougie in other places. 
you know you got like your middle class it's so crazy how they were able to really relate that whole thing to like to now like it, it, because it's futuristic because it's supposed to be there's still more of the same going on it's absolutely crazy and i love it i mean there are people you know nowadays you would get plastic surgery or something like that if you're not happy with you know yourself or something like that and they in this futuristic time you can go and get new eyeballs to you know this it's crazy you know you go see your doc and get some new eyeballs put in you go see your doc you get some some stuff for your for your hands some some cybernetics put in there and it's absolutely nuts once again showing even more customization that you could have on yourself like you you could go and get yourself a full full borg body if you really want it you can go full borg this is really done well relayed through the story they use a great amount of terminology like i said for those who who are really into the lore the terminology is there i really i really looked at that and that was dope there's a lot of great terminology used and it really helps convey that time it really helps convey like you know what the cool kids are doing and who are the trendsetters who runs the world a lot of this stuff is really done well in terms of portraying it to the player like if you haven't played cyberpunk the tabletop game or know anything about it i think a lot of people can come into this play it and they would feel just as knowledgeable let me take that back you're not gonna feel just as knowledgeable but you're gonna get be able to get a handle on what's going on in the game and I played a Street Kid for my first run through. I plan on going back through Corpo, but I played a Street Kid, which I was told was supposed to be the worst one. And I tell you what, I was none the wiser as to me having the worst gameplay. Like I thought my shit was off the chain, to be honest with you. That's just me. There were some issues I did have with the game and that's not out of a fast travel issue or anything like that. Um, just glitch wise, I think the game crashed on me three times and that supposedly was on the better side of town so i'll take it only three crashes there were times i did need to reload my game completely um i had one instance where i shot a dude through like a floor and he had an item i needed to grab up off him so i had to go like reload it for that um there was one moment where i was hit with a negative effect and that negative negative effect did not resolve like it should have cleared he wouldn't move because of that ne negative effect that just did not clear off of me had to reload the game for that another weird load point i had and it was just weirdness to be honest with you i just had to reload the game for that as well those probably took up i mean maybe what five minutes of my life when i like really look at it luckily i'm playing on the ps5 so the load times aren't that bad but five minutes of my life and i've i've put <laughs> i've put like close to like 45 hours on this first run so i think five minutes out of 45 minutes or 45 hours excuse me is well worth everything this game was everything man i think this game really is showcasing what next gen can be like i think it it, it has the good problem of they did too much and you know the game has some funky moments but overall i think this game is a gem i'm really looking forward to the patches that just make it a little more stable in spaces once we get those <laughs> i think that everyone is gonna see, like this game definitely will you know probably bump up and score if you follow that type of thing man i'm saying that this game is amazing it's a true gem 2020 gave us some real gems i know that this year hasn't been the greatest we got some real real great gaming gems and i definitely urge everyone to try cyberpunk 2077 it is amazing it's funny bold ridiculous in terms of of content it's overwhelming in terms of content if you're looking for something to pour time in this this is definitely definitely time sucker like it's crazy but with that being said keanu reeves is dope Keanu Reeves is dope. I think I should just leave it at that, right? No, I'm not gonna leave it at that. I hope everybody's doing well, feeling well, doing good, doing great. I'll be sure to check you in the next one, but I gotta catch those Z's. Peace. Be easy. Be sleepy, baby.